When I was in college, my dad was diagnosed with stage four cancer. He was sick for so long and it wasn't fair, but there was something he could do for me and giving me the knowledge that I could have to prevent something. When I first met Molly, she had just received some pretty bad news that she had carried a genetic mutation that predisposed her to breast cancer development to the point of 80% chance in her lifetime. So it was pretty much a given. It was, I'm 20 years old, I'm in college, why am I faced to deal with something like this at this time? And then also knowing that, you know, with my dad and the health condition that he was, it was something that I wasn't going to take lightly either. It was decisions she didn't want to make, and it was difficult to make. Certainly, a change in your own body habit is, especially at 24, this is just not the time you want to hear that you maybe need to remove your breasts. We weren't going to mess around with this and, you know, it was okay that I needed to make this big of a decision. And She was still very shaken by her father's death. And yet, she also was very determined about making a difference in her own, in her own life. It's not easy. I hate to act like it is easy. But if you find the right care and the right people, and I was able to get through this, you know, with the help I had around me, and I just, here I am, you know, just doing great. One has to have a very good sense of self and self-esteem in order to go forward to have the breast removed. Hi. <laughs> Hi. 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 I didn't even know you were coming. I know. What I realized at UC Health is that it's a whole team of people. It's not just one person. It's everyone from who you call to schedule appointments to you know the doctors you see on a very you know regular basis. You know here I am, and it hasn't been you know three months, and I'm feeling great. And it's because you know I was able to get a really personalized, detailed plan and how we were going to do it with Dr. Shaughnessy and all of her team, and just went very smoothly. We have to personalize it to each individual because everyone has different needs. Everyone has a different level of education, a different level of understanding, but also perhaps they come to me with a different biology. So we have to, we have to tailor it to the individual. From the beginning, it was a very personal decision because just, you know, I had the, the gene mutation and had to personally figure out what I wanted to do and be okay with it. And after that was really getting, you know, a medical team that would make a personalized decision for me. That's what we want to do, make sure you get a a life going forward and a life that you deserve, a quality of life that everyone should have.